guys, it's me Melina, and this is the first time you've heard a voiceover on my channel for quite a while. Uh, that's because I just don't like them as much as I used to. But for redraws and stuff, I feel like they're needed. So yeah, here is a redraw of one of the first pictures on my Instagram, and the first drawing I did on this channel. This is a girl from the 3 Mark Challenge. Um, yeah, that's been almost two years now. It's, time's flown by. And so, yeah, I felt like redrawing this because A, I looked at it recently and the proportions are really bad. You'll see at the end of the video and I'll link to the Instagram post. And also because it is a really pretty drawing when you just put it into a concept. Like, it's a girl who's got a couple butterflies with her. So yeah, it's kind of cute. So what I did was just change up the pose. I changed it from having her hand by her side to her hand just holding out onto the butterfly. And I put her hand on her hip, but in a nicer position. I'm still not sure about the hand, but other than that, it was okay. I skipped the drawing, just drawing out in pencil because I kind of forgot about that bit. But yeah, generally I just made adjustments to the pose and stuff. The colour, um, I could have done it as a three marker challenge like it was in the original, but honestly, even if I had more markers originally, it probably wouldn't have made much of a difference in terms of my art level at the time. It's still not great, my art level, but it's improving. It's slowly improving. <laughs> yeah. And so... What I've done for the redraw is I've added more highlights and stuff. That was something I wanted to get better at like a couple years ago, that I wanted to get better at shading and lighting. I think I achieved my goal there. I'm still working on other things like arms and hands, stuff like that. Also, just drawing out guidelines. I, I think I've improved on actually using guidelines instead of just winging it and then ending up with a badly proportioned body. There's still some work to do on the anatomy. Um, someone pointed out on my Instagram that the air is way too far back, and I agree. Yeah, if I ever redraw this, then I think I will definitely make sure the face isn't really wide because it kind of looks like she's got an allergic reaction to something. That's happened a couple times. I That just sometimes happens. And I usually don't notice until the drawing's already coloured in and lined and stuff. Um, for the outfit, I actually referenced off of real clothes. This is something I've been trying to do this year because my outfits often look very bland because I'm just going off of my imagination. And when it's, when it's cartoon, I don't really mind about that because it's a cartoon, you want to be able to draw it consistently. But when it's like an actual, just an illustration, I kind of want it to look realistic and pretty with actual clothes. So I look up, um pink dresses on Google Images, and I come up with this kind of thing, and I think it looks quite cute. Um, the, the different pinks don't quite blend that well for the dress, I have to try and pretend it's a gradient, but really it's just because I didn't really get the different shades of pink. Add a bit of Sharpie for this, and I also have a couple highlighters hanging around because I just recently bought some pastel highlighters. I use them a bit in the drawing, but I won't link them because I can't be bothered. And yeah, I the only thing that would be different if I'd done a free marker challenge was probably the skin tone, but I just wanted to add some extra colour into her outfit and like her skin. Her skin's so pale, and while it sometimes works, you just want a bit of colour sometimes. And yeah, here's the gradient that didn't work. This is a cool kind of purpley pink, and that's just a bright pink, so it just didn't work. And that was kind of fun. So now I'm doing the butterflies, and I I love the gradient that I did in the original one, so I kept it for that. And yeah, here's my highlighter. I'm almost done with this piece. I thought it was super fun to work on. Leave a comment or something if you want to see me do more redraws. They're quite fun, so yeah. I'll have some fun with that. Thanks for watching, here's the two side by side, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!